Heavenly Father, on this day, as we celebrate the Feast of St. Matthew, we are reminded of the call to follow Christ. Just as Matthew was called from his tax collector's booth, may we, like him, respond with open hearts and live lives worthy of the calling we have received. Reading 1, Ephesians 4 verses 1 to 7, 11 to 13, I therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, who is above all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And his gifts were that some should be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Lord, we thank you for the many gifts you have given to your church. Help us to walk in humility, patience, and love, always striving to maintain the unity of the Spirit. May we use the gifts you have given us to build up the body of Christ, that we may all grow into the fullness of maturity in faith. Let us live lives that are worthy of the calling we have received, always seeking to reflect your love and grace. Gospel, Matthew 9 verses 9 to 13. As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. And as he sat at table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with Jesus and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard it, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, and not sacrifice, for I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Lord Jesus, you called Matthew from his life of sin and brought him into your circle of disciples. Like Matthew, we are unworthy of your call, yet you invite us to follow you. Help us to respond with the same courage and trust, leaving behind anything that separates us from you. Teach us to show mercy, just as you are merciful, and help us to remember that you came not for the righteous, but for sinners like us. May we always seek to extend your love and mercy to those in need. Merciful Father, you call each of us to follow you, just as you called St. Matthew. Grant us the grace to respond to your call with faith and courage, and to live lives worthy of our calling. May we always seek to build up the body of Christ and share your love and mercy with the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.